My name is Maddie Bradshaw. I'm a mechanical engineering student at GCU and I'm a math lead at the Learning Lounge. Every day I just come in and sit in the math room and as soon as students start coming in, there are some of them that immediately will be like, Maddie, oh my gosh, I have to tell you about my day at school today. And some of them immediately come in and are like, um, Maddie, we're gonna have to do my math homework together later. And so it's kind of cool getting to like see all the students come in and just interact with them like that. You know, sometimes students are really tentative to show how nervous they are about doing schoolwork or they feel, you know, really um, incompetent or embarrassed about where they are in a subject. And just being able to have them put their trust in you with that makes it so much easier for them to trust you with other things. You know, some students will tell me about like stuff that's going on in their life that's kind of deep stuff that I can tell they really just need someone to talk to about. And it's kind of cool that something as simple as like not doing well in a math class can build that trust with them. And just knowing that the lounge is a really important part to these kids' lives, even past the academic support. When I think about the SIS program, the students that we have, um, the main characteristics that jump out to me is just how giving and caring everybody is about the community. You can really tell that the students that are university students with the scholarship care about those high school students that could be future recipients and they get just as excited as we do to help out with those kids and get to know them when they come in the lounge too. Last year, there was a kid that came in a lot and he was a senior um, and he was kind of shy. And at the end of the school year, we actually held a lounge prom and decorated it and the high schoolers came in all dressed up and we had dancing and stuff like that. And that was when he kind of started to come out of his shell a little bit and he got the SIS scholarship. And now he is one of the first volunteers that when a kid walks in the room, he jumps up and goes over to them and asks them if they need any food, if they need any help, if they need anything like that. So that was one thing that's really cool to see him kind of come out of his shell and then help other students this year as a volunteer. I work with some people that they said, you know, oh yeah, I didn't think I was ever gonna go to college because I couldn't afford it, but they're here because of the scholarship and those people are, you know, doing teaching degrees and they're amazing teachers and it's, yeah, it really touches me. <laughs> it makes me emotional thinking about it because they're like so many futures that could have ended abruptly, but they got that opportunity to go to school and now we're gonna have one more teacher and you know one more leader because of it